Hello everyone, this is Dave and this is my first ever tutorial on the UDK. It'll feature how to do a height map out of the views, then how to create a normal map and import it into the UDK so you have a actual parallax map, which the tutorial is about. So this file is from cgtextures.com and we're gonna open it up using Photoshop. I have CS5, but version doesn't even matter. So first of all, you go to picture or whatever it's called in uh, English Photoshop, I guess picture, and change the size or just um, press Alt Control I and you can change the size. We're gonna change it to 512 times 512 and click OK. So you now have your diffuse map. So the map that includes the color data. So save it as TGA and I'm gonna call it parallax underscore D. Dif um, the D letter stands just for diffuse. Save it 24 bit per pixel and it can be compressed. Um, 32 is only using alpha channel. So now you have your diffuse map. Uh, double click on this one or drag the uh, lock to the uh, um, trash button or I don't know if it's even a button but just drag it there and now you can change everything you want. We now have our diffuse maps so we're gonna build the height map out of it. For the height map you need to know everything that's black or very dark is low and everything that's white or very bright is high. That's important. Um, the contrast here isn't that, that great actually. So what we're gonna do is first of all um, to make sure it's only a grayscale, as grayscale, we're gonna press Control U and desaturate the picture. So there's no real color channel in it, just from black to white. Now we're going to press Control L, which is the Levels tool, and this left, um, yeah, little drag button is for the blacks, and the right is for the whites. What we're going to do is the left one drag a little bit on the right, so the holes are completely black, like this, and now you can play around a little um so that's not too much contrast you'll get a feeling sooner or later um uh, when creating high maps oh, maybe a little bit brighter okay so now we've got it the point is if we use that for a normal map it can be really weird why cuz if there's too much detailed information in such a picture it can cause trouble when using parallax mapping uh I can try to explain it right now but if you're really trying to work with parallax maps you'll see and you'll find out your own. Okay, so what what can we actually do about it? What I like to do is creating three layers. Um this you do by either duplicate or click on it, press alt and left click drag it up. So, the first layer is going to be the detailed layer. The first layer of all is going to be a slightly blurred one. So we're going to use the Gaussian Blur and give it just a tiny, let's say 0 0.7. So you have still some details, but not too much. The second one is going to be another Gaussian Blur and it'll have let's say 2.0 2 .2 yeah it's great and the opacity not too much maybe 25 and then the last one let's say 20 percent so the picture not right now is blurred still having some details but not that much detail that, it, that it'll cause trouble 
uh, for the final result. So we now have our actual height map and we can click on all of them pressing control and control E is making one layer out of those three and this is our actual height map. We're gonna save it as parallax height DJ perfect uh, 24 great now we need to build the normal map out of the uh, height map how we're gonna do that is up to you you can use filter and media tools the normal map filter but I don't even like it too much so I bought myself crazy bump it's a really great tool I've got the um, educational license and it really is worth it so we're gonna drag the height map in open it as a height map and then we have our yeah normal map and you can play around with all the points here like details very fine details noise removal sharpen not too much of the effect maybe 30 yeah let's say 30 fine detail medium detail low um, this is the good part about Crazy Bomb. You can influence the normal map, and so you'll have better results in the end. So I'm going to save this one as a target file as well. Call it local. You can call it normal or whatever you like. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, Doom 3 stuff, so <laughs> local is what I have in mind when thinking about normal maps. Save it. You can leave the program. And now we're gonna add this here, our normal map file. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a hidden alpha channel that will have the information of the height map. So what we're gonna do is select all using this tool, copy it, um, yeah, wherever it is. <laughs> um, or just control A, control Z for copy. Um, this copy switch to the uh, parallax local file, go into channels, click on the new layer, and there's alpha displayed. Now what you just gotta do is press control V and you have an alpha channel. Now you can see it would influence the actual normal map we don't want that so just click on here and the alpha channel is still within the frame so it'll be saved uh, in the normal file but it will not be displayed and um, so you won't have any trouble but still the information is in the file so you're gonna save that again as the uh, local okay and make sure it's 32 bit per pixel otherwise the alpha channel wouldn't be saved okay now we're done in Photoshop we have the diffuse the local and the local already is including the height map so we don't need the height map anymore there it is gone okay opening up the UDK is the next step and here we go the UDK what you need uh, need to have opened is the content browser make sure there's nothing typed in here otherwise it would be a little bit confusing for you what you're going to do next is open your um, window where the files are stored and you can either click right click into the content browser and import the files or you make it much easier and just select them and drag them in um, this information is very useful and you need to make sure you remember and which package you save it. So I'm gonna call it parallax OK to all meaning that the next file underscore local will be stored in the same package. OK to all. Import it and now we can search for parallax and there our files are. Um, right click go to new material 
and we're gonna name it just parallax underscore test. That's our material. No full screen, and so you can see everything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drag. Yeah, I know the UDK is much of um, drag and drop, but it's very useful and very handy. So drag and drop into this, and for the controls, left mouse button is dragging around. So the view mouse wheel is zooming. And if you click on an item, it's selected. If you wanna ah get that one over here or drag it anywhere, uh, anywhere, so just con uh, press Control, left click, and drag it around, so you can move it. Ah, that's the word I was missing. Moving it to build a bridge, another drag and drop. And so right now we have here the diffuse file. And we're gonna connect it to the fuse. What you see here is our diffuse, uh, is the preview of our material. You can zoom out, uh, zoom in, zoom out by right clicking, um, left clicking. Is doing this, and the middle mouse button, you can drag the view. Okay, next we're gonna do the same with the uh, normal map, and. I'm gonna build a bridge from normal to the black one here, and maybe ar ar arrange a little. Now what we have is only a bump map, so a normal map. This looks quite good, but the point is here that it only really is visible if there's a light, and that light need to cast shadows. So if the light would be over here, it'll cast shadows. But if the light would be coming from our view right now, there would be no shadows and you won't see any effect. That's why we need the parallax mapping. So type in here, bump, offset, drag it in, and connect the UVs to the bump offset. Uh, this is okay, just wait a second. Now you're gonna copy this one. Control Z, Control V. Move it around, and this is the color channel, this is red, green, blue channel, this is the alpha channel, and as you remember, we saved the height map within the alpha channel of the uh, normal map. So what we're going to do is building a bridge from height to the alpha channel, and ta-da! There we have our parallax mapping. Currently it's way too heavy, so we're going to go to bump offset and decrease the uh, effect. As you can see, um, the height ratio is how intense the effect is going to be. So we can play around a little with it. And as you can see now, maybe you can give it a 0 0.025. Well, it's a little bit too much, let's say. This value. And we have a really great, perfect parallax map. It's really that easy. And once you're comfortable with the process of creating a height map, um, building a normal map, storing your height into the normal file, you can save a lot of space and you have great results in the end for your own UDK levels. Now press just the Apply Changes button and the textures in there. And to make sure you won't lose uh, what you just did right now, click on parallax and save it and then it's stored. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe see you next time. Bye.